And we are ready to rock in Houston. Week one, two of the sweetest words ever spoken. For players and coaches, week one is the first step on a journey to a potential championship. For fans, week one is an opportunity to unite for three hours and get rowdy for their favorite team. Everyone has the same record. Everyone thinks this could be the year. For the 2002 Houston Texans, an unforgettable week one took on a completely different meaning. 70,000 red towels tonight. Caught by Miller, yeah. takes it over the five, into the end zone. Touchdown, Houston. He's loose over the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Rock and roll. Touchdown, Houston. Wow, this place is absolutely rocking. Mark Vandermeer, Andre Ware, and John Granato with you at Reliance Stadium. The Houston Texans making their debut against the Dallas Cowboys tonight. The one we've been waiting for. It's the Texans playing the Dallas Cowboys. And this crowd is starting to quake at Reliance Stadium. It had been a while for the city of Houston. Deprived of an NFL team for five long years, there was plenty to celebrate on September 8th, 2002. And behind the scenes, equal amounts of excitement, yet many unknowns. It was the culmination of two and a half years of work. We started with a 30-month plan, and we had milestone after milestone that we had to hit. And it couldn't just be good. It had to be top shelf. We would paid more than anybody had ever paid for an NFL franchise. We're having this stadium, almost $500 million for Reliance Stadium. A lot had been invested, and a lot was riding on the success of this team. I can't speak for anybody else, I had doubts, but there were, we couldn't get a snap off. You know, the, there were some practices in those couple weeks before the first game where Capers had to start practice over multiple times because we just couldn't do anything right. There were things we were figuring out. It did feel like there were times that like just even organizationally or structurally, they were trying to figure out because yeah, it was brand new. I mean, we we're kind of blazing this new trail. I know the Oilers were here, but it was, you know, a different group kind of going through it for the first time. And so we were kind of all in it together. And so that was what made it really exciting, really fun. I was nervous as I could be because the question in my mind is, how long will it take us to win a game? If football coming back wasn't enough, there was also the chance to topple the hated Dallas Cowboys. I can't stand the team. The fans I can deal with, but I just can't stand the team because I just think they're better than everything. They, they always talk Houston down. You know, they've won five Super Bowls, but they hadn't won any since we've been in the league. I've been winning since 95, and they still try to rub that in your face, and that just, that just irks me. Our in-state rivalry. I mean, Dallas and Houston go toe-to-toe -to -toe on everything. Tiddlywinks, whatever it is, if it's Dallas versus Houston, it matters. And so that game was important to us. It would set the tone for the franchise. Leading up to the week one matchup, the Texans scrimmaged against the Cowboys, fanning the flames of the rivalry between the two cities and now between the two teams. Those guys are gonna to try to knock our out of bounds and run us into the bench. And we ought to be doing the same thing to them. They were on the HBO series Hard Knocks. Uh, they were being followed around by cameras all training camp. First impressions. Here we go, now let's go. Dom Capers had held a lot of the starters out. So the Cowboys, they kind of wiped up the field with us. It was just a bunch of hooting and hollering and acting a fool out at practice. And it was just a level of disrespect that every day Coach Capers said to us, you'll get your chance on Sunday to make it right. You'll get your chance on Sunday to make it right. The offense was a rolling ball of butcher knives, but we got a couple things accomplished. Yeah. You know what, they can run a ball on us in how we get yeah. better. Yeah. We can run the football. I remember that phrase, Dave Campo, saying that the Cowboys were just a rolling ball of butcher knives and thought to myself, yeah, we, we weren't out there, man. So like, all right, let's, let's see what happens week one. Week one, September 8th, 2002. The Houston Texans took the field for the first time in front of their home crowd. The crowd is going crazy as the Texans take the field at Reliant Stadium. I still believe in my heart that was the, the loudest game ever. It was so awesome just to be back in there, to have your own team and somebody to cheer for and yell at. Most of the fans didn't know who most of the guys on the team were, but we were getting huge rounds of applause every time they announced one of us. I still remember the smoke from the fireworks on the inside and just the energy from the crowd. 
from before we even kicked off, and it never really let up. I don't know if people sat down the entire game. I just remember when we were coming down that tunnel, I remember Billy Miller came up to me and said, show him what you got, young man. Show him what you got. Roof closed, the fans in a frenzy. Here it is, the first kickoff in Texans history. On the first drive of the game, rookie quarterback David Carr came out guns a blazing. With a 19 yard dart to Billy Miller, Carr had his first completion, and the Texans had their first touchdown. Popped by Miller, yeah. takes it over the five, into the end zone, touchdown Houston. to Billy Miller, the first touchdown in Texans history. We called the play and Billy was smiling already before we broke the huddle, so he knew it was coming to him. I threw him a ball that I'd thrown him a hundred times in the summer, and then he just made an incredible effort after the play. You know, the, the catch would have maybe gone for 10 or 12 yards, but he ended up turning it up, breaking a tackle, and then making a great stretch for a touchdown, and then after that, it was just all a blur. A 19-yarder, and the Texans strike first. As a play-by-play -play guy, I just wanted to get it right. History could not have begun any better for the Houston Texans that night, and Andre and I were as pumped up as we've ever been. I mean, it, the setting in NRG Stadium with everybody going crazy, scoring on the Cowboys, it was, it was a delight. I thought, hey, good, we're not going to get shut out, <laughs> and, uh, and we got something here. I didn't know what was going to happen in that game, but I knew that if we are going to win it, we are going to have to score some points at some point and we, I wasn't really sure we were going to be able to do it going into the game. After that, it felt a lot better. The teams traded punches in front of a frenzied crowd. Through three quarters, it was tied at 10. And then... He's loose, over the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, rock and roll, touchdown Houston! Reliance Stadium has erupted, the Texans score! A touchdown pass to Corey Bradford at the start of the fourth quarter gave the Texans a 17 to 10 lead. Now it was up to the defense to close it out. I could tell that they weren't in the kind of shape we were. And I could see it in their eyes. Their eyes looked kind of glassy. And that's where I felt somewhere in the third or fourth quarter. We just keep rolling. We've got this. He's back in the end zone. He's in trouble. He's sacked for a safety. It's a deuce for the Texans. That's going to put it away. The Texans won that inaugural game 19 to 10, a score no one would ever forget. Week one. September 8th, 2002, belonged to Houston. It's over! The Texans have done it! They have beaten the Dallas Cowboys on opening night in team history. An historic night as the Houston Texans debut with a blast. It did feel like a Super Bowl. I mean, that was our Super Bowl that season. Even leading up to the game, you heard everyone say, hey, look, we don't care if you win zero games the rest of the season, but if you beat Dallas, then, you know, that's all we want for our first season. I still laugh about it. Jerry Jones and I have become good friends. And, you know, Bobby he said, I only cried twice in my life. And once it's when my mother or father got injured. And he said, the second time is when y'all won that first game. <laughs> he said, that's the second time I cried in my life. <laughs> people still bring it up to me. It's 16 years later. And there's still people that will point to that as one of their bright spots in the franchise history. At some point, they're going to go and win a Super Bowl, and uh, you know it'll move a little bit further down the list. But I think especially for people that have been Texans fans for the entire duration of the franchise, it's a bit of a point of pride for them. For that to happen on that night, I'm super happy that I was able to do that for Bob McNair. He's a great owner. The organization was fantastic. That moment, you know, back there in September, my rookie year. Old, old, you know, nothing will even come close to that. Into the end zone! Touchdown, Houston! 